themselves. Thank you very much indeed. For... The Jeremy Carl Show is sponsored by Slingo Boom. Family with a wild side. The Durrells starts this April. Set a reminder at itv.com forward slash remind me. Lie on ITV. It's Monday morning. Time to start the week with Good Morning Britain. Good morning, Britain. The news you're waking up to, paying tribute to a police hero. Later today, thousands of officers from across the country will lie in the streets of London to remember PC Keith Palmer, who was killed during the Westminster terror attack. It's hit all of us so hard what's happened to him and to what his family have to go through now. A war of words as Boris Johnson demands Russia withdraws from Syria. President Putin threatens to strike back against America. Beaten in a dramatic playoff, emotional scenes overnight as Justin Rose sensationally lost to Sergio Garcia in the Masters. A night of magic. Harry Potter cast a spell over the West End, making theatre history by picking up a record nine Olivier's. And he's back almost 25 years since he started Waking the Nation. I'm reunited with my old breakfast buddy. Good luck, Eamon. Good luck, audience. <laughs> Eamon, you know I love you. You know I love you. I might come on this week of Piers, isn't there? Monday, 10th of April, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Eamon Holmes and Kate Garraway. Good morning on this Monday morning. Welcome to Good Morning Britain. The time has just... Hang on a minute. What are you doing here? <laughs> Isn't you say it so casually? Natural order has been restored. Yeah, it's like we've all been. You've been in the shower and you've come out. And it was all a dream. Yeah. The last one. What is it's it? Amazing. Twelve years. It is when I had dark hair and Kate wore Mrs. Thatcher outfit. <laughs> was... That was some jacket, Kate. I don't know what you've done with the Eamon that I know though, because you were here early. You'll be making notes. Mm -hmm. Are you on best behaviour today? Is this what we're expecting? Six months of lying, Charlotte. <laughs> you know, Char it made the world a difference. Charlotte and I used to share the screen together. We did. Which, yeah, Same years. Was affair with yeah, her, didn't you? For, what was it? Seven, eight seven years? Seven years, yeah. Oh, I mean, it was a lovely, it was that. a wonderful, it was a wonderful professional relationship, <laughs> but I sort of sensed that Charlotte wanted it to go further. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, yeah. and I thought maybe then now it was time, together again. time to step away. <laughs> I do hope Ruth, Ruth's still sleeping. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much indeed. The weather, here is Laura performing particularly for her mother, Carol, today, who is... Uh, <laughs> It was a big Man U fan. A massive cool. Man U fan. In fact, my cousin got married this weekend and the top tier of the cake was a Manchester United tier. Oh. Yes, always. And I'm Classy. Not wearing, and the only reason I'm not wearing red today is because I got sunburnt at the weekend, so I can't <laughs> wear anything red. Bit embarrassing. I know I should have worn sun cream. I told everyone we else to. You can feel the heat from here. <laughs> Aside from the red forehead, weather-wise, a huge change, 10 degrees colder today than it was yesterday. We've lost the warmth, but actually it's not a washout week if you're still on your Easter break. Westest in the north, some sunshine in the south, but a big drop in our temperatures. We'll have all the details on what's happening for the rest of the week in about half an hour. Thanks very much indeed, Laura. Thank you. So, our main news this morning, the police constable killed in the Westminster terror attack while guarding the Houses of Parliament will be honoured with a full police funeral today. Thousands of officers from across the country are expected to line the streets in tribute to PC Keith Palmer. The Queen gave special permission for his coffin to rest in the Houses of Parliament overnight, and that's an honour usually reserved just for heads of state. Our chief correspondent, Richard Gaisford, joins us now from near Southwark Cathedral, uh, and that is where the service is going to be held, Richard. 
That's right. Uh, the body of uh, Keith Palmer will be bored in the coffin through the streets of London a little later today. It's uh, lain, as you say, in the Houses of Parliament overnight, Eamon, guarded by members of his former branch of the Metropolitan Police, the Parliamentary and Diplomatic Protection Command. This is a very tight security operation today. You can see the roads here have already been closed in Southwark. The barriers are out. They're expecting up to 50,000 members of the public to pay their respects alongside the road. And uh, we've also got 2,000 officers on duty today, but going to be joined by thousands more. They think this is going to be the biggest gathering of police officers that we've seen, and all here in London to pay.